to create accounting event class options. So what are the tables or the views that you have created, Ganesh? These are the tables we are going to use in this screen. It will ask you for an entity. We know that entity is something that we have just now created. It will ask us for event class. We have only got one event class. We've got only one process category that we have created. Default general category, it's asking you for default general category, which means that the category can also be changed at the time of rule definition, but this is a default category. Okay? So we have a default category for far. Now, what is a transaction view? When you get journals created using FAR, in the journal entries or the journal display screen, you see some header information, some kind of con contextual information about the journal. Those pieces of information come from transaction view. So Ganesh, you'll have to create a wrapper view. And what I suggest is just create a select start from the same table. Okay, so just put underscore V at the end of that table. Okay. Okay, I think yeah. I'll see if I can connect to SQL developer. I, uh, okay, I'm already connected actually. I have a view okay. underscore V at the moment, but uh, okay, just that I'm not sure whether that is correct or not. No, no, that's fine. So uh, what is the, see, as I said, you know, you can always change these okay. objects later as well. Yep. Yeah, so it's the same. Come back because, uh -huh. Yeah, it's the same name underscore with underscore v at the end actually. The same table name underscore okay. v. Is it this? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Why did this go away? Uh, So in my journal, I want to show the batch header ID. So I can just pick up the value from here now because you've created all these columns, right? These are the columns that you created in the view? Yeah, no, yeah, that's right. Perfect. So I can just put uh, where's the staging journal header ID, this one. Second is, I just want to give it some name or something, you know, some something descriptive. So the column that is going to contain the descriptive value in this is, so system transaction reference, let's say, yeah. Let's okay. say what the transaction reference is. So I will say transaction reference. So next is, going into the object, sc object screen. In the object screen, we can also specify a view. The difference is this view that we have specified here, transaction view, has nothing to do with the accounting rules. This is just for description. Where will you show the journal header description from? Okay, it's nothing to do with the the main thing which drives the accounting rule is this fellow. Okay. So we can use the same view here as well. Okay. So is it the same? The, you created just one view or two views have you created, Ganesh? Yeah, no, uh, I just created this view. That's fine. Doesn't matter. We can use the same view and let's call it a line view in this case. Yeah. Okay. We can create a header one as well, a line world as well, but we just create a line world. And if we want to specify uh, 
uh, header, we can just use the same one as You can give it header as well. In real life, you will have two different views, one for header, one for line. But yeah. it doesn't make any difference technically. Technically, it makes no difference here. Okay. You can give join between the header and the line, but because this is one-to-one, -one, it doesn't matter here. Okay, it doesn't allow me to give the same one. So can you create another one called underscore lines underscore view, but uh, the... Uh, Ganesh, um, but yeah, can you will it be the same view? table? It's a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to select star from that, uh, but just give okay. it a different name. Keep, keep the view definition okay. the same. It's perfectly fine. Yeah, and no, I have created. So it is underscore lines underscore V is now there. Okay, so... Okay. So we just want to create one record perhaps and this is so this is a transaction object created you see this button called create and assign sources we have to click on this button and it will go and read the views and pick up all the columns and make them available as sources. This bit takes a bit of time because it goes and finds out all the columns, it creates sources. It has found some errors. Let's see what that error are. 